I'm Katie Scheitzow. I'm a seventh grader at St. Ambrose School in Brunswick, Ohio. At my school, we have a computer science class that teaches kids computer code. I really enjoy this class, and it has definitely helped me with my invention, Banking for the Blind, which falls in the financial category. Worldwide, 285 million people are visually impaired, and of that number, 39 million people are actually blind. We take for granted simple tasks that a visually impaired person might have difficulty doing. For example, using an ATM machine. Many years ago, banks installed Braille and added some, some audible instructions. The only problem is that 10% of visually impaired people can actually read Braille. I developed a computer code to help those visually impaired people use ATM machines. Using sensor technology, a visually impaired person only needs to know simple hand motions while listening to audible, audible instructions. The equipment that my software needs is already installed in ATM machines. So banks would not need to invest in a new ATM machine, which would require installation, configuration, and testing. Let me give you a quick overview of how my prototype works. For future enhancements, I would like to add biometric detection or facial recognition to log into one's banking account. But for now, when someone walks up to my program, it detects motion on the screen and starts playing an audio file. The audio file explains where to wave to perform each banking action. Let's say I want to deposit money. When the audio file finishes, I can wave up to deposit and it brings me to a verification screen. The verification screen will ask me if I'm sure I want to deposit money. So when the audio file finishes, I can wave my hand to the left to confirm. It brings me to another screen like the main menu with four different money amounts. Let's say we want to deposit $20. When the audio file finishes, I wave up to deposit $20 and it brings me to another verification screen. The verification screen makes sure I want to deposit $20 and I can wave to the left to confirm. Then it brings me to a confirmation screen where it tells me I've deposited $20. I can wave anywhere and it brings me back to the main menu where I can form another action or wave down to sign out. Let me show, let me show you my prototype in action. Hello. If you'd like to deposit money, wave your hand up. If you'd like to withdraw money, wave your hand to your right. If you'd like to check your balance, wave your hand to your left. When you are finished, wave your hand down. Please select an action. So I'll wave up to deposit. You are going to deposit money. Wave your hand to your left to confirm or wave your hand to your right to cancel. And I wave my hand to the left to confirm and that is how my whole prototype works. With my prototype, I tested blindfolded volunteers, and I also went online and found three accurate times that a blind person used Braille on an ATM. On average, it took the blind person about two to three minutes, when with my project, it only took one minute or less to use my software. I compared the monograph, and as you can see, it takes longer to use Braille than video sensing. Therefore, my project is more efficient. With my project, I'd like visually impaired people to gain independence to do more simple tasks by themselves. Thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you in DC.